said dread. He said for a time, you're not dread. You know what dread? He said don't go lost in my dread. You know what dread? He said that I need dread in my dread. You know what dread? He said that love will let me in my dread. You know what dread? I met Jonjo by accident, you know. Um, I was in a club one night um, in Labrick Grove. And I remember Eastwood coming up to me and asking me um, if a friend of, of his from Jamaica can stay at my place, which I had a flat at the time, man. Yeah, and they happened to be the friend was Jonjo. Yeah, I know. You see, when... Um when me at work, Jonjo used to follow me every time I got a studio, right? Tell him, um, I think he looked at him one day and said, you know, I'm going to put your name on a song. A song where I have named name, Jack Guiding Star. Right? But I'm my label yet, because he doesn't have no label yet. Right? So, I carry him to town, I ran this to Miss Pat, and I said, Miss Pat, I want you to put on Henry Lars on this song. I want him, you know, people kind of have him say, in, in, in a start the project, like production. So she put on the name on it, and the song come out named Jagadin Star. So him start look like he's a producer. And that, that, that was the first move. Right? That was the first move. And then now, second now, we got Tobies and me gave him a one, one rhythm track. A rhythm track named Re Rock. Re Rock. Re Rock. Okay. And then in Vice, Barrington Levy and that track. And the first song in Vice, Barrington. That was a hit song. See the papa kino, keep on playing, rub a dumb star a while. Long, 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 long. So I've been a two-time, two-time loser, my baby. Say more than hate, ain't gonna no lose, gonna no lose this star a while. Come long, come long, come long, come long, long, hey. Oh, when well, you say after me, 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 John Joe approached me and like him say my year about this Dundus boy and you know him say more to some recording with him. Lord, well cool El Figo Barker and cool my children, man called Billy Boyo, Secular Quarry, cool no Colonel, Lord, you know not dread. Come and say, look how she fat a yellow can to all that, Lord. Look how she fat a yellow can to all that. She just up in a blue, she just up in a black. But tell you yellow man, him a the king of the crap. You look on me head, me ear it flat. Is a hundred and twenty-five girl do that. But hey, fatty boom boom. Me see. You know John Joe from me a little bit of youth. You understand me? Because we used to see John Joe before he start. For him start being a producer. You understand me? That's just to show you all long. I know John Joe, they listen to John Joe and Linval Thompson. And look from that now, we are when then John Joe in the producer. <laughs> Alex Band and you know he used to do a lot of sessions done by Channel One. That was where I met him first during one of the early John Joe sessions with Roots Alex. I first met John Joe in 1978 and um, one of the first records I put out for him was um, Calloweed by um, Barrington Levy. Um, I was in Jamaica and he was, I guess, a young up-and-coming producer and he came over and checked me by the store on North Parade and uh, 
basically, um, that was one of his first records, the Barrington Lee record, Calloway. And from that, um, you know, we just kind of worked together. And the year after, the Charlene Temple, Barrington Lee album was also released. Lord, man, me went to a dance at Clarendon. Me and a big fat thing named Palmer. But as me reach at the dance gate. Every tune, though, them just take off. Every tune, they were judged, them just take off. Because the company, I know him, and didn't like a few of them say, I named Junja, Junja, and everything. They're not dealing with something. How do I meet Junja? I was dealing with Yabio at the moment. At that time, with Serious Reason album, we were in a, a, a few single release off of it, Fight It to the Top, and it do well in Jamaica. And um, when I meet up with John John, he was dealing with like Barrington Levy and Liquid John and Billy Boy and Ranking Toy and. That day then, you know, we the studio, we write like a book the studio out for our, our whole day and bring in Roach Radix and then now uh, artists start coming at the place and we have enough herb and smoke and things. Herb, 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 after that studio. Because that's the vibes. If you don't have herb, you can go on. So herb in the studio and a man will drink some Guinness and things. We always have some liquor around in the studio. And we make sure we pay all the money before them all work too. So give them the vibes too. So everybody feel good. So, I'd like to say to you, you see, I was just released from the hospital. The reason why I was released, cause the doctor told me that the medicine can do me no good. Yeah. Told me what I have is a very, 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 very bad case in blues. Oh, baby. Yeah. Well, there's so many memories about John Jalazin, but the fondest memories when I'm on really go a, 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 a America with him for the first time in 1984. That was about last October 1984 when we went to. To, to, to um United States to play a, a couple of a couple of gigs, you know? A lot of people them send for the sound and you know? We were we were we were in um, a place called Hamilton, Hamilton Ballroom in New Jersey. And at the first time I ever seen John and all them to me and we see the man, the man was so happy and you know me I said it was a different type of junjo, you know. I mean, I said, the real type of junjo would be used to every day. Where it's like, I mean, is always a businessman. You see, he's like, he's a man that's always reserved. And he was very outspoken that night. And, you know, a full joy himself and all them things. At the funniest moment of the night, you know, I'm in the ballroom in New Jersey. And I wanted to see the hotel ballroom burn down the night after that. You know, the same night it burned down. You know. The last to ever keep that ball over there was Volcano. You know what I said? Hold up, put, hold up, put. Everyone, hold up, put, hold up, put, hold up, put. Everyone get out of foot. As a up by immigration, a fee farm up a line. Them just a deal with we one at a time. Colored with a fish of a pan American airline. I tell your papa leave and drink expensive wine. Hold up, put, hold up, put. Let me get out of foot. And the downtown, trust you fee have your passport. The uptown, trust you fee have your passport. The vibe is always alright. The vibe is always good. You know, even though um, it was a money thing, me forget about the money when we were around Junja because it was a vibe thing, you know, because we love, we love what we are doing. Junja did love what we are doing. I mean, they love what we are doing, you know, including Liquor John and Coco T, Marital Lindsay, Michigan and Smiley, you know, um, Lindval, the whole of it, the death surround John John, you know, John John did good, Michael Prophet, the whole of it, you know, so it was not money thing, you know, it was business, yes, but, you know, we don't worry about the money because John Joe is a man we always take care of, you know?
Watching, watching him work as well and how a man who don't really know how to play music can conduct music. It's, it's, it's beautiful to watch him how he does it and he almost do it with a dance. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's almost, he can tell you how to play something with a dance, you know, and he had that style about him, you know, and know what he wants so you know being in Jamaica with him and you know going around with him and you know see how people deal with him see how artists deal with him and see the creative side of him as well you know that was that was fun fun memories you know some of the funnest memories of John Joe was you know going into the studio with him um, in Jamaica you know several times we were at Channel One and Tubby's when he was mixing those scientist dub albums and stuff and yeah, those were pretty interesting years. I mean, um, Michael Prophet was around, Little John, um, some of his Ty and Lee Van Cliff were a few of the artists that he was working with at the time. Rewind one more time, because lyrics like them are going to blow your mind. So to low them, I will know you're big and nice and thing. Lord of mercy, to Jesus Christ. Show me some man that's sick with me heart. You know what I mean? I kind of frightened. See, I'm not in a wonderful condition. So I get nervous when I hear the explosion. How are you, Mr. Colonel? Yes, dreadlocks. I want to burst these things out and out. But we're sick with the heart. It's the last thing I know. When we start working for John Jobs, permanent now, now, you know, I'm start, it really start, it really start getting good with him them now. Him just allow me to do everything. When him a drive and down and look for artists, me and I build with him. Sometimes when him come, with him done. I say, don't remind me, I say, yeah, man. Him trust me 100% with him tape them. When him done, me just steal away for him, collect the money and pay a new shot. That's one of my greatest moments with John Jolla. Because I do him trust me so much. He does say, boy, I hear me flabber. Let's go around the things. Well, John Jolla is a nice youth to work with. You understand? I mean, never have no bad times with John Jolla. Because John Jolla makes me know so if we have things as a producer. You understand me? Because John Jolla is a man who makes sure he says, no care how small he is, he makes sure how young in the business, he makes sure he says, you see money and get money. You understand me? Because what? Well, it's a man where catch it. John Jay is a man where people that say boss. It was a man where love put out him food. You understand? Because I remember another time we live in Yellow Man. And John Joe have in Yellow Man. Me did dead as a little youth, same way. And when Yellow do the first album, John Joe won the second one. And him just promised him give him a BMW. He always used to come with an artist. He always find an artist. That's what I remember him for. Anytime you see John Joe, he gets excited. He find an artist and he a good song. So you know, when you know, say once he goes to boom and he, 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 he have a good song, that's just my memory with him. He always have an artist to come with him. And the song always good. Oh, yo. Working with John Joe was like a bliss. Because the youth, them just, you know, he have the youth, them running. The man was like a king man. Yeah, the man was like, it's no far from him chewing, you understand what I say? So, boy, with me, in, in the presence at that time there, good vibe, lovely vibe. He had a, a clean year to discover new talent. You know, that's what, that's what made it. his sessions, you know, so exciting for us. 
because you will always come with something different and fresh like one day we just see him come in with Heineken Mose Ika Mose, I'm sorry, with Ika Mose and uh, Ika was going and take it out he, he, he really never have anything like that around so you know things like those stand out in my memory uh, of him unearthing some real you know unusual talent and we had lots of hits with him I did the studio was like, you know, like a day, day on the corner, same way because we don't have, we don't come on a lot of stress, you know what I mean? I say, like, you, you produce, you're, you're working for other producers, it's like sometimes it's stress and, you know what I mean? I say, you're feeling, it's just vibes, you know, one of just burn a spliff and man a drink a Guinness or man a drink a beer, and, you know what I say, and people are vibe, you know what I say, because, you, Everyone just loose, you just loose. So I didn't sit with John just like I did in the corner, the same way, but, you know? Can you tell me where you can believe? Yeah, man, she live next door, top floor. A one, a two, a three. Yes, right there. This is a door. Now, who is it? It's me, babe. What you want now? Say, wait one minute, please. Don't close the door. I have something I would like to say to you. You see, I was just released from the hospital. The reason why I was released, cause the doctor told me that the medicine would be no good. He told me what I have is beyond medicine. He was like an excellent talent scout. Because what he used to do, he went and scout the talents and then you know told us that he has a session told the radix to come for a session a session at the channel one and then he would bring in the talent and dump them on us <laughs> so to speak you know because he respected our music musical ability and our production and arranging skills which was pain you know it, 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 like hits after hits after hits you know like in the in the uh, mid 80s there one year we had like four to five of the no, top 50 number one songs for the year you know but he was the man who used to go out and i really find the talent and bring them come and then so, going ahead and it's, it's the vibe was you know, you always want to be around him. You know, you always want to be in his presence, and his presence was was you know second to none. You know, when him in a studio and fights him in we are with everybody, and you know, different different. John Joe was a very hands-on producer. I mean, I had actually witnessed him in the studio. You know, overseeing the sessions and time. You know. Club and which Radic were primarily the session musicians. And he was actually in the studio directing them. He was, you know, even some of the mixes, you know. He was a very hands on producer and he had a way to make people at work for him feel very comfortable. Um, you know, whether the artists or the session musicians. He would look after his people. Well, uh, the recording process was like 10 o'clock, reach studio, and the band go, go in and tune up the instruments and stuff. Engineer come, sound check. Um, John Joe arrived with a hosta of his new ta new phone talents and some you know standard regular talents, and then spend a little time on us and kind of instruct 
as to what you what you would like to be recorded for that day. And then take off and leave it to us and come back in the afternoon. Or the night cause I can't remember one time we did the session was so long with so many artists that we actually did 35 tracks, you know? One different rhythm for different artists and one one session started like 10 o'clock in the morning and, and went right back till the next morning, you know? Well, the vibes with me was immense. There is like there ain't no, no word to explain it, you know what I mean? Because boy, everybody just full of joy, you know? The man himself full of joy, you know? Him full of so much joy that sometimes he can't stay there. When, when he made a tune, he pop off, he have to come out and go for your drive and come back and all them things. You see what I say? Yeah, man. <laughs> In, 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 in feed you, in gear your things, you know, I have a problem with Janja. Because even at the last, before Janja even passed off, I'm here in my You understand me? And definitely the man come back to me and say, John, why are you deal with some little things to me? Oh, that we, we should in music, same way. You understand me? Because Janja is a man where. I just died, made a dime to see him come back from England with the and he just left the back home. But John Joe had the, the backbone for the whole of it. Coco tea, um, Barrington Levy, the, 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 every, every yellow man, every a John Joe bust this thing. Bust the whole of your the vibes, they don't know John Joe mostly I write the song them for enough of him artists them. Him always, always I put in some lyrics, some unusual sound of lyrics. Well, enough people never even know that. Because he never know about publishing in time. If he say, well, I even write the song. He just want to tell the artist what to say. Because enough artists now have no lyrics in the country to them. So I'm afraid to give them lyrics. Because I'm bad that way. Yeah, John Joe involved. You know, I'm always involved. You know, and certain lyrics, if you don't like it, he will tell me, say, don't do that one then. You know? Or, you know, just go around with it. It's, it, it. it's a man who make me comfortable when I do my recording, you know? It's like, if him say, all right, don't uh, uh, slap, uh, slap lyrics there, just go around with it. So if me would have said P, I would not say P, I would say S. You understand? So, John Joe is a man who always involved in his product. And if, if, if you don't like the, the recording part of it, if you don't like the sound, he will tell you say he don't like the sound. Um, if you don't like the mix, he will tell the engineer say, yo, um, mix it over back. We don't like that mix there. There's something special around Volcano because the music that John Joe was making at the time, you know, he could, you know, you know, a producer owning a sound system, a top producer, a number one producer at the time owning a sound system will just make that sound system something different, like it come from a different planet. And it was, it was, you know, the music where John Joe could play and, you know, the people who was following at the time, it was, it was a music vibes. It was, you know, it was wicked at the time. After a while, he made me a solid, the solid gold crew. You know what I mean? He said, Yeah, the solid gold passing them tied there. We think I'm solid gold, you know what I mean? Big soup like Louis Lemke. Second chance of laws. Guy, you're big. Solid gold passing your ring. Well, at the time, it was one of the most, all I can say, it was one of the most popular songs in, in Jamaica because, like, a seven day a week, Volcano I play out. Seven days a week. And nowadays, when it's a sound, directly I play seven days a week. You know what I say? Them times you never have dance, I keep right during the week and all them things. But I mean, like, 
seven days we always all, all over the place. It was so popular that them time I was volcano and Kilimanjaro and Jamis and you know me I say Sturgeon and and socialist roots and. And then the time and so the time definitely every, every sound of bring the Mona artist. Then the time you have people like Boro Bantan and you have Little John and you have a youth named Little Ari and Billy Boy and Papa Tayan and you have Josie Wheel and Chaplin and the manager come and dance when the sound scene. You know what I say? And I tell you, say, Volcano, that sound is clear all over the world and I can't forget one thing when the volcano play in our place name um, like New Jersey the first time volcano playing in New Jersey I was there Cocotti was there I mean I tell us they play in our in our in our that church old church and I think the church burned on the next day you understand like volcano go play in another place they are burned on the church next day Boy, the volcano label, boy, I tell you. The label come like, you see, no. Remember, you know, in them days, uh, you have Beverly's record, you have Drew Creed record, and you have Coxon, and you have Channel One. Well, Jonjo, we put him in them category because, you know, every band did, did get a little break, but Jonjo get a good run. Trust me, him get a good run. Yeah, man, the volcano label, man, get a good, 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 good run, man, I tell you. And the man make, and the man, and the man make one thing called a rival. <laughs> the one thing called a rival, everything come for that man, a boom, man. Arrival, man. Wicked, trust me. Yes, yeah, and him, and him, the um, VP is of some song, I tell you, I'll put it on. Well, well, pass up, man. Well, pass up, man. Well, pass up, man. Well, pass Arrival, lady. Volcano was actually another imprint, I think, John Jones was released in the record zone, and he spun off a uh, sound system from that. And I guess he would use those, the sound system to kind of test the records. In, in the dance hall and stuff to see what worked and what didn't work. Um, and I guess, you know, the George Wales, Lee Van Cliff, a lot of those people kind of came out to the sound system. Me no one not a pretty girl because the pretty girl they marginal. Come and say, some me good, say some me bad. Some of them come in like a damn wizard And show them pretty, them no member God And then change like a green lizard. Hey, say me no one not a pretty girl. Me no one not a pretty girl. Because the pretty girl, they marginal. Because the yellow man who an ugly girl. With a high fever, stop light signal. And a foot fever, bicycle pedal. Hey, God make bees, bees make honey. God make man. Man make money, but Satan make woman pick on rap man money. Say, say me no one not a pretty girl. Me no one not a pretty girl, because the pretty girl they marginal. Sound system was never nothing planned when it comes to artists, future and sound system. It was, if you have a vibe span the night, and you can get the chance to get that microphone and fling your vibes, then, and you can make the crowd go bop, 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 then you, the decision make for you, you probably can get an next show. So, you know, no decision ever make. A man with, you know, Michael Prophet walk in a dance and you're a rhythm and just say, yo, you want a piece of that. Boom. Volcano is one of the songs that really give me the break in the dance hall. You know, apart from Scorpio, Aces, Gemini, Virgo, you know, and, and Challenger. But, you know, Volcano was a big sound where you do live record. You know, and Kilimanjaro, Aces. But, like, the first live record John do, it was live at ESS and the other one in do the live volcano um, at Skateland. No call the fire from no police. So you see the shot fire? It's illegal instead of Skateland. See? Guan volcano. Scarpe, you ready? You can't, you don't have to tell them say a jingles voice. Them know you're different from the sex symbol. How we ask you was the the colonel? Yes, dreadlocks. Now we ask the man, them please take time with the explosion. 
That's low left care. Not in such a good condition. See? And yellow man in the session. And it's a man with nerve not so strong. So take time with the whole pack explosion. Well, circle code of people. Can you know when you come a volcano, you have to feel nice and thing. I will the MC, which you have over the world, John you know, about and thing. La the way I say, Colonel. Circle, 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 circle. Dreadlocks, don't worry on yourself. See? La so you know, it was always a vibe with Volcano because all I'm artists when we call it always supporting, you know. Break it up. You me to one up. Hey, you Jasmine, you come over here and have a little portion of your flesh. But you Jasmine, no much here, you know, man. I don't have no time for you, you know. But you me just catch and say, let me tell you something. You see, body and cream was markers. You wish you'd have a lot of color like rainbow, so you yeah, yeah. Well, you have a, uh, my bridging when we grew up to from down at the corner there. My name is Saddle Jed. He was a selector. You know what I mean? He got a friend with him, Saddle Jed. And you have a next youth named Steve. You know? Them youth, they are young youth where we grew up to. And them are the man who are run the sound. The sound, the sound, the sound, yo. It's like, boy, when the sound comes, it's like there was no other sound in a Jamaica. <laughs> Nothing but Volcano, me. I tell you. Volcano was a ripper. Anything coming out of here, him lost it. You know what I mean? It was good vibes, you know, sharing with all of the youth, them Tun Tun, Melon, you name it, right down the line. You know? You have a little guy we used to do that. I know Bello. Bello used to do that too. But with the next one, sa no Saggle, man, another one, man. Steve, he was the man who make it look like so well then. He was like, John, anything when he say at that time, like he was John Joe right hand. But John Joe never gave him that position. Well, let me say, the day-to-day -day operation was run by people like Bello and Steve and, and, and Boggy Jr. And a youth named Dodo Blinds. You know what I say? All of them people they decide the importance of what I go on at the dance and all them kind of things. Like there was the captain and... And them kids the captain. John Joe had the, 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 the captain. Okay. But you have the, 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 the rest of people them were like the vice captain and you know what I say? The most move of them all. See, they move and shoot down every move. So second, right? Second low left key. You are like you, she don't live in New Jersey. Come back here and spend the most currency. But we feel nice and happy in our own country as far as Colonel Joseph. So sicker. Because yellow man. It was it was the beginning. It was he started it. Really. Because I remember in the eighties when, when I just started, nineteen you know, I started nineteen eighty, eighty eighty one. And John Joe probably was uh, probably close to a year before that starting with dance hall music and as you can see where it is today you know what i'm saying there wasn't anything like that before john Do came along john Do come along with a different swing a different lick completely to 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 to, to where the music was at the time and it almost like it's almost like i'm bringing electronic because the music was almost electronically styled even though it was live, but the way it was mixed and the way it was, you know, put out. It, it, it only took 203 years to be the top producer in Jamaica. I know Jamaica is a place where we have, we have, you know, very distinguished producers over the years. And in three years, he was voted number one producer. So that says a lot for the label, you know, Volcano. John Joe, to me, is the beginning of it. Is the beginning of what? dancehall is today 
Well, to me see the music I go now, I always remember Junja. I know so well then. Junja is a man who sometimes is there in the studio. And Junja only call 60 with him, 100 with him. You understand? Just book out the whole channel and miss them days because we used to dead it. You understand me? And right now, the man there make us know so well then what we can eat with food out of the business. So me always, right now, that's what I tell you, say. I can never forget Junjo. You understand? Junjo had the backbone of me. Trust me. Well, as a person, Junjo was a jovial guy. I always have a joke, I joke his sleeve. You know, very light hearted, you know, and very sociable. You know, he, he was, he would socialize with, I see him socialize with lawyers, doctors, bankers, everybody, on and, and a, and a very relaxed level. Junjo was, was a good man, you know, because he used to lend me a little bike and we ride it, go home at night time, you know, after we come back from studio and dance and then place them, you know. And then, you know, we reached England at the early time and got green sleeve, and all the business of green sleeve. And we got VP too, at the time it wasn't VP, it was Randy still, you know, at the time they are Queens, New York. And from there, so we are running all the tune them out, you know what I mean? I'm a producer, I'm a producer, I'm a do the same thing, I do my thing. You know what I mean? Sometimes it kind of looks like a competition. People are making it like a competition. But, you know, all those business men are dealing with still, you know? But them times they're nice, because you know, things are going on. And we are making the right tune, we are making the positive tune. Till right now, them tune they never die. Junjo tune never die. And them still are play. You know? Well, he's one of the nicest person to be around, you know, because that like says a man is very reserved. You know what I mean? I say I'm really too outspoken and everything. And the man they, when the man they talk to you, you know, I go here. You know? I always reserve and see him always have him hat down in him face like this and more time I see him with him at him finger upon him at You know what I say? And them kind of thing. But he's a man where nice person to be around because you know what I say he's a man who make if it's not loud and if it's not vulgar and it's not outspoken too hard, where if I'm gonna talk to him, I go make no noise. I'm gonna talk to you easy, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, yeah, man, definitely, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Like in anything, in in in, 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 in walks of life, you have people who have negative things to say about people and things. But I really never have no negative things to say about that man because, honestly, to be honest about it, he's a man that really make a man be what a man is to be. You know what I'm saying? Anything. And anything go on for me, because the first man that ever took me up in a music business, away from a man called Willie Francis, where they make the first song of me making a, in a, like 1974. That man is the first man ever give me a hit and bust me and make people know about Coco Tea. So, all I have to say about him is it has to be good, you know what I mean? Because, no care how much bad a man want to do, you know, you can't make the bad out to you the good, you know. If I want good him to do to you, the good is there, so you can't just reflect on the bad alone, you have to reflect on the good, you know. And that is Henry John Jalaz. You know me, I say right now, we need people like them man if we be around in the music today. We can't have a second John but we need people who can be like an inspiration to the youth. Having not been like a social acquaintance with John Jalaz, more like a, a worker, you know, I wouldn't really have much more details as to his personal thing apart from what I observed, his personal um, movement, but I knew that, you know, he had lots of friends and I saw him interact with from the biggest status right down to the gutter status. So he was across the board a very, you know, people open for the person to be with. He changed the whole process, you know what I mean? Met reggae music, get more, more dancehall. People even listen to reggae music more because him coming with a new style, new era, new new everything. He was volcano. You know, you know what I mean. You see, you see clearly. He 
Ivana like this red a trash